I started covering our old pontoon seat covers. It's one of the enjoyments that we get out of the property that we're on. Some nice neighbors of ours sold us their pontoon. Um, so anyways, the seats were starting to rip in the middle. So I went and picked up this fabric. It's 100% polyester indoor outdoor. Um, did my research beforehand and made sure. And what I'm doing here is I am laying it out on my wood floor. This actually helps to make sure I keep it in line. And then I bring in the boat seats, the existing boat seats, and we put them in garbage bags. And I'll show you that now. All right, so you're gonna take this piece and make it as flat as possible to the front side. And then that green line is where we're going to be lining up the front of our cushion at. Oh no, it's actually going to go the other way. Sorry, these ones in the back, I flip the stripe. Towards my thigh. So this green stripe right here, I have it lining up with where my I would sit on the front seats. I did a strip right here towards the back. So it'll go up like that. First, we're going to put the ends. I left about eight inches on each end and about 11 inches on each outside piece. I just took my little cutting mat, measured. And then on this side, and then over on this side, we'll go all the way to this blue line. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna go right up this blue line right here and cut all the way up there, and then give ourselves another eight inches up here at the top. Flip it around, give it eight, so we'll cut right in there. You wanna make sure you have enough fabric to bring it to the back and being able to staple it. No sew projects, you gotta love them. If you don't leave yourself with enough fabric, you're gonna be wishing you were in a few months once you're sitting on these things for a while because the fabric's just gonna pull out of the staple. All right, so this is where we're at so far. Our fabric's cut all the way around. I want to make sure the back of it is lined up with this lighter green strip. I think you can see that okay. It also happens to be where the fabric was folded. So we won't have any folds across it. We didn't have to iron it ahead of time. So that was nice. Make sure I got my 8 to 10 inches on both sides. 11 inches on both flap. And then where I start is I fold over the ends. I must staple all the way through on both ends. All right, so now I have these ends done. Both ends are folded over and stapled. And that's the straight side. So I usually do the straight side at the end. Come around, flip this whole thing around. There's a straight edge and then like your rounded edge that goes on your boat. 
what I like to do is start in this rounded edge. And I have this pleats kind of starting in the same spot every time. Right between that light blue and dark blue ridge. Make a pleat. And I just take my hand underneath the fabric. Right in here. And kind of pinch it with my other one. And pull it right up. Oh, make sure you have staples in your gun. That always helps. Ran out. never loaded a staple gun before. You pinch these ends, pull out the slide, put it back. That's it. That's simple. I actually had to YouTube it the very first time I did quite a few years ago. Make sure you pull it tight. Yeah, baby. Okay, hold on. I'll get you a second. And I think I did four plates on each corner. side. Same thing on this side. Start my pleat in between that light blue and dark blue. Uh, I flip them out or in? It went out. professional here obviously but it is a great way to refinish your bolt covers without spending a ton of money the lighting in our house is so dark maybe I can turn it this way let's see It's just the dark blue with the lighting is a little rough. Okay, that's actually a little better. Okay, so I just take this edge, pinch it under, make sure this part is nice and flat, pull it up. And then when you get to these sections right here, I pull it nice and tight up to the top. The same color, but the stripes, it helps a lot. This should all be meeting at the top, so it helps you a lot when you have a striped pattern. I think if you had one that was pictures, it would be a little bit harder. Especially to make all of them match across the whole bolt. And I usually do a row in towards the ledge, and then once it's all together, I will Elias is done eating his popsicle. But once it's all together, I will um, actually staple more staples inside of that section. Spin it around. Maybe you can see. So then I do the same thing on these corners, but I just need to pull them tight because they're towards the back. Nobody's gonna see the cute pleats up front. So you just need to make your edges wrap it like a present. It's pretty good. And the same thing on this other corner. any of 
with this. A beautiful folding job. Same thing on this side. I usually give it a good tug and make sure all of your colors are at about the same spot because you want your front stripes to line up. And if this isn't in the same spot, then your front stripes aren't going to be. This one's a little different because there were some hinges in there, which we are not going to be using. We just took the hinges off. So it makes it a little harder, a little more wrinkly. You can see that the stripe pretty much hits the same spot all the way through. And then I just pull the fabric up to the middle and give it another staple all the way down. And like I said, I just wrap it in the garbage bags just to give the seats another layer of washer protection because they are busting at the seams with the filling. Perfect. So when you flip it off, got this nice, pretty, awesomely straight pattern. Very pretty. Pretty cool. Not bad. And instead of completely replacing your boat seat cushions for a grand or two, you can have a nice looking set of cushions for 70 bucks or less. All right, we got the rest of the bolt cushions loaded. We're walking down to on to now so I can take a couple pictures and show you guys how it turned out. As you can see it looks pretty good. We got to work on our table here, clean up our carpet, but the seats look like a little brand new makeover. No sew. Pretty easy.